Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Ice and Fire. So today, I'm going to be going over how you guys can best prepare in your circumstance to slay a dragon. And we're doing this on purpose because, well, there is a dragon somewhere behind me, just a little ways out of render distance. And there's another one back in that direction behind me that we're going to try and kill. Now... There are many different methods you can do this by, but we're going to try and do it by the method that you stay alive, for one, and you slay the dragon with ease and the easiest way to do that. Now, uh, real quick, I'll give you guys a base tour. Um, we have the automatic chicken cooker, cooker going in the background. Um, I talked about this in the last episode, so if you want to see how this works, then go check that out in the previous episode. It's near the end. And it's been making feathers and cooked chicken for us here in the background. I have been pulling out of it to get food. Um, but real quick, let me jump in here and get some rest before the uh, before the morning, the nighttime takes me over. That would be bad. Got lots of crazy creatures spawning then. So over here, you can see we made some base changes. Uh, we have a enchanting table here which is extremely important when it comes to uh, dragon fights definitely very, um, something important that we will be going over um, if you look at my hand I have this I don't even know how to pronounce that but it's a bird that flies around and they shoot these little like um, these things right here their feathers at you and their feathers are really hard um, you know, they end up doing damage to you now while I was searching across the earth looking for things um, I found, you know, I found an extra, a really small dragon. I think it was a stage two roaming around. So I killed it. It only took a couple bow shots. So that was kind of a, kind of a crazy thing. But this will be useful for later. Um, I found a bunch more dragon bones, a bunch of wither bones. I have some withered bone shards, which here real quickly, I'll show you guys how, what I'm going to use that for. Um, so there is a extra large dragon in that direction. I think it's either a stage four or stage five. I'm certain it's a stage five. Uh, I ran across it while I was getting resources. Uh, and as you can see, I have a bunch of things cooking here. Um, I'll put that back in here. But you see, I have a bit more iron, a little bit more silver, just a bunch of stuff. But these, uh, these wither bone shards, you just take the wither bone, you stick it in there, dragon bones, and you get dragon bone arrows look at that we almost have a couple stacks of those and these can be shot through the dragon bone bow as you can see i can pull it back get that we get that but if we don't have these in our inventory i'll stick them in my um arrow chest real quick do i have any normal arrows oh i don't we'll grab some you look you can't i'm right now i'm right clicking and it's not nothing's working i see i accidentally opened the chest so we have to use these nowhere stuck up oh yeah in the chest up above we have to use these in that bow. Um, I probably won't use these for the stage three over there, but the stage four or five in that direction, I will be using these. Um, it's down in a cave, so if I can dig down and then just shoot at it from the air, that will be the best way to do it. Um, so yeah, that's the stuff I've acquired. You know, I have an iron strength and longbow, kind of the basics here. Um, like I said, oh yes. So over here, I have some sea serpent scales and the sea serpent fangs. So real quick, I'll roll that clip. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the fight on camera, but just proof to you guys that I did kill it. So I'll roll that here real quick. Well, guys, uh, something random happened while I was out looking for leather for bookshelves. I was over here by the beach, and there was a sea serpent over here. It decided to come over here and attack me. So with this little this little in cove here, it could come over here, and I could just sit right up here and bow it while it tried jumping in the air to get me. But it could never hit me. Um, so as you can see right here, we we slayed a sea serpent. Um, says right there. We got the uh, the scales right there, and we got the fangs. Look at that. Is there anything underneath here? Nope. It's a purple one. That's interesting. So uh, real quick, um, let's look and see how you can uh, craft this. Let's look at uh, sea. Wrong sea. Goodness. Receiver servant armor. E R. Hmm. Armor. Even here. Dragon. 
Oh, here we are. Oh, it's Tide Guardian Armor. Okay. Should be working with the purple. Oh, we gotta get these. Shiny scales. Hmm. Well, I guess this is something we'll be doing and working on later. But, uh... Shiny scales, we need those. I think you get those from mermaids. But, anyway. Yeah, so, cool thing. We have the Sea Serpent Fangs. And I may try something with these. I think I can craft, uh... I... Yeah, I think we can craft this. Let's look and see. Yeah, look at that. Well, I will... I will head back and we're going to make a trident just for the fun of it. Because, you know what? Why not? But anyway, just something uh, interesting that happened to me while I was out scavenging for uh, cows to get more leather. But, yep, we killed a sea serpent. Look at that. Before we even killed a dragon. <laughs> so, yeah. I slayed a sea serpent. Again, it was kind of on accident, but took advantage of my situation. And there is a weapon that I want to craft with these. Um, I think I need two serpent scales. Now, I do really want to make some Tide Guardian armor eventually, but that takes a bit more grinding than dragon stuff does, and the dragon stuff can be more useful, uh, kind of where we're at right now. So, I'm going to make I'm gonna make a trident. It's Poseidon's trident. Poseidon. Uh, I should look up. Uh, here we are. Right here. Oh, it's a Tide trident. So, we get the three serpent fangs we'll have two scales around that a diamond right there and a dragon bone that should be pretty easy I actually could make two if I wanted no we won't though we'll leave it at this go like that look at that 13 attack damage wow that's even more than my uh halberd look at that we now have a trident oh it looks so cool look at this look at my trident can I throw it oh I can Huh, I wonder what, um, look at that. Oh, it throws really cool, too. I like it. I like the trident, definitely. Only someone real cool. Can I put it in the, yes, I can. Loyalty, unbreaking, unbreaking. Yeah, see, we don't have 30 levels. Uh, what, what is our other options? 12 for unbreaking, too? No, I don't really want to work with that. But anyway, look at that. We now have a trident. That's pretty cool. A very strong trident weapon pierces through multiple enemies. Oh, that's so cool. So we'll definitely end up testing this out. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool little new weapon that I got from the stuff that I, uh, from my searchings of the earth. Um, anyway, so this, this episode is about how to prepare for a dragon fight. So right now we are in almost full iron. We have silver boots on right now. So, um, for most of you guys, I'd recommend either full diamond armor, um, if you really feel, don't feel like not dying or iron armor and just enchant it. In my case, I have been willing, if you want to put a bed down, like I did with the dragon over here, you can go watch that in the first episode. I put a bed down, and then I fought this dragon, and I died many, many, many times. But I did end up slaying it. And because of that, if we pop in here, I now have enough scales to make dragon armor. Dragon scale armor. So we're going to do that here real quick. Um, I will be going over the different methods that you guys are going to be able to do this by. Um, because, of course, not everyone is going to have enough dragon skills to make full dragon armor. Most of you are probably going to be attacking dragons to um, get your dragon armor. So, this is going to be something I'm going to be using for the fight. But you can always use iron armor. And probably protection 1 or 2 would be good. Protection 2, protection 3... I definitely recommend putting those enchants on your armor. But for now, I'm going to take off my other gear. And I'm going to suit up. Look at us. Look at us. Oh my word, my little eyes poking out of this suit. It looks so good. Looks so good. But anyway, so I'm going to grind up some levels as you guys can see. Um, Probably smelt some more stuff. Get that finished smelting. I don't know if I have anything else. Probably not. But I'll get some more levels, and let me see what my basic protection for. You know what? I'm going to get that. But anyway, I'm going to do some grinding for some levels to enchant my gear. Maybe get an uh, enchanted weapon. I will enchant my dragon bone sword. You know We're going to go all in. Uh, these you can get really easily. Dragon skeletons spawn throughout the world. Creating these is not hard. I mean, you do have to go to the nether. To get weather bones, but you can get weather bones from mobs in the overworld, and they're not too terribly hard to kill. But 
Anyway, I'll bring you guys back once I have my gear enchanted. Well, after grinding many levels, um, uh, many levels, I, I say again, uh, we now have almost pretty much maxed out enchants, at least for protection and stuff on our dragon armor. Um, if we hop into my inventory here real quick, we got prop four, dragon scale helmet, prop four, chest plate, prop three, and breaking three leggings, and then just prop three, um, boots. So this is really good, almost max protection, which is great. We have, uh, unbreaking on one of them. Um, we want, come to find out, I, I am going to want, um, mending on these pretty quickly because they do not last anywhere close to as long, I'd say even as diamond armor. Um, but it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so around, around the area, I don't wear this. I have this other armor set set up here that I will wear with, um, I think it's all prot, prot, um, iron armor, which is great. Uh, except for the boots, they have feather falling. I wear that around and I stick the, the dragon stuff up on the armor stand until I get mending or when I go and fight dragons and it looks really cool when you kind of, when you walk in the door you see that and it looks really great but and then of course I enchanted my sword um I just went for sharpness to sweeping edge to it was pretty simple and easy I threw uh just some simple enchants on this because I didn't really need an enchant on this but I need to cycle out so I have knockback on this which if I'm going to use this it does a lot of damage really fast so I might as well knock mobs back and then oh my word did I get lucky with this bow Look at this bow, Unbreaking 3, Punch 2, Power 5, Infinity. I got Punch 2 and Power 4, and Unbreaking 3 on a book, when I enchanted the book, because I saw it had um, Power 4, and I was like, okay, then I can stick that on my bow to get Power 5. Um, when I enchanted the bow, I got Infinity and Power 4, and I added those two together, I, I got this. So this bow is really, really nice. Um, absolutely love this bow. I uh, didn't stick any enchants on the dragon bow or the uh, trident. I left those alone. Um, again, stuck an enchant on the great long sword. Just some sharpness one to try and cycle through that. Um, this uh, enchanting table here. But yeah, so I got some basic enchants. Um, turns out, for me at least, the fastest way to get XP was through the Nether. I don't know. Did I got, did I show you guys this bridge? I don't think I did. I only think I showed the chicken coop and the house. But yeah, look at this. So we have a little a little bridge now that leads up to our uh, our nether portal. Um, probably not one of my favorite builds, but it looks kind of cool. Um, so we pop through here. Now we get a little bit of lag while everything loads in. Oh, let's see it loading in. Um, over here. So when you're grinding in the nether, zomb for zombie zombified piglin or a zombie pigman, whatever. If you've been around for a long time, you're stuck in the habit of calling uh, zombified piglins zombie pigmen. And I'm still stuck in that. And we're almost a year into the nether update, so yeah, not a problem at all. But anyway, so um, these guys, if I hit him, him and all his buddies, which there isn't too many around right now. Is there someone down there? Yeah. They all get mad at you. And then they chase you around and you can either, you can see I have a couple pillars built. If I go one, two, three, you can hit them. If you're feeling a little bit more daring and you want sweeping edge to work, you can get lower and you can kill them on a two block tower. When there's like a giant horde after me, I prefer to do three block high. Um, sometimes I use three. When I was using my dragon armor down here, I just did a two block high, but I got knocked off a few times and that wasn't very good. Um, but what I'll do sometimes, oh, look at that. See, he, he knew that I killed his buddy, so he's mad at me. Um, but in this area over here, sometimes we'll get giant horde, hordes of them. So I'll run around between all the way over there and all the way over here. And I would lure them over here into that area. Let me eliminate this guy real quick. There we go. Um, I lure them in here. And then I would pop in here. I place the, uh... Nether or any block that I have, and I can just sit here. And if there was hordes of them, I can sit here and I can just hit them over and over and over again and get lots of XP. Um, the reason I have these here is because when the babies come, they can pop through a uh, one by one hole. So you want to make sure that you have half slabs, and you can reach through that. 
So I got a bunch of uh, levels that way. I think I got over 35 levels three or four times just to try and get all these enchants. Um, but it is gonna prove useful when you're in a dragon fight. Now, personally, uh, oh look, see you can see a bit more of a, a bit more pig, zombie pigmen spawning over there. Why is the gas mad at me? No, I don't want to do this gas. Um, if you can go into a large, wide open area, you're gonna get more um zombie zombified piglin spawns um but then you get more of those annoying gas spawning and i hate dealing with gas so i was doing it i was gathering from this area bringing them over there and i was getting a lot like there was a lot of um zombified pig oh yeah where am i going i think i need to go back this one. Oh yes i need to go up okay i need to block this one where is he oh word i just don't want my little path to get blown up while i'm on it and fall to my death that'd be very unfortunate um but yeah, and then there's less gas you have to worry about when you're in a more confined area and you can hide from them a bit easier. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's how I got all 30 levels, um, or 30 level enchants. I got a lot more than 30 levels over and over and over again. But yep, so we have now full enchanted dragon scale armor. Uh, we have a really OP bow and dragon bone sword. Um, everyone in Ice and Fire, before you fight a dragon, I would recommend getting a dragon bone sword. They're easy enough to make. If you go to the nether and you get weather bones or in mobs from the overworld, then and you find a carcass of a dragon just laying on the ground, you can make these so easily. I'd highly recommend you do it. It'll be it'll definitely help out. Bow, make I, I like infinity personally. If you don't want to use infinity, um you can oh it's nighttime outside. I can ignore that for now. You can make a chicken farm like I have going on over here. And I think I AFK'd this for 12 hours. This is the loot I got. So, you know, not a ton of food, um, but a, a solid bit of feathers. Um, the concept behind this for me was just to have food in the background. You know, I'm around my base and in the area. It just, it's making food. Um, but lots of feathers that way. And then you can just mine flint and get a bunch of arrows. Um, or you can make a dragon bone bow. And you can get dragon bone arrows. And I, I don't think... I don't think this is going to do more damage than my longbow. Uh, yet. Because this just has power 5 and infinity, and it's it's so good. Even though these are dragon bone arrows, we'll see. We will see. I'll definitely bring it, because there's a big old tier 4 or 5 over there. Um, if I grab my atlas, I don't think I've gone over this too much. But, um, it's like a much improved map. But, um, here's my home. We go this way a little bit. There's a big dragon in this area that I want to slay. Um, so we'll do that in the next episode, and there's another one over here-ish that we saw in the beginning after we killed the ma the first dragon. So, yep, in the next episode, we will be doing that. Um, now, most people, unlike me, may not have full dragon scale armor. Now, if you don't, and you want to make this an easier process and not die as much, I recommend that you just get full diamond armor. Um, I don't have any diamond armor or diamonds right now with me. Because I use them on stuff like my enchanting table, my longbow, and a couple of other um, items. On my trident. I used a couple on the trident. So, I don't have any. But if you want to make full diamond armor and enchant it, I wouldn't recommend doing complete max enchants. Um, if you wanted to go in with prot, prot 1, or even prot 2 on the helmet, um, iron armor, then feel free to do so. Just make sure you have your bed near... Um, if you're doing ice dragons, then you don't have to worry about your stuff getting destroyed as much as you do with a fire dragon. Um, I have the gravestone mod installed, so that's not an issue for me. It it won't burn, it won't get destroyed. Um, but if you guys want, at the end of this, at the end of this series, I will post my mod pack um, live or make it so you guys can access it and you can play with the exact same mods that I have. Um, but yep, anyway, hopefully in the next episode, or correction, in the next episode, we will kill two dragons, um, hopefully without dying, without dying would be great, uh, we should be able to kill that one without dying, and this one if I play my cards right, but anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for making it to the end of this video, we are on our way to 50 subs. Um, only eight more to go guys if eight of you guys have watched through to the end of this video and you go down there and you subscribe 
it is going to help me out and will reach 50 subscribers. And that will be insane. So if you guys could do that, it'd be great. It's free. If you loved the video, don't forget to go and hit a like. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Let's kill a dragon.